Let us suppose that you live in Michigan. Let us also suppose, uh, I don't know, you're a girl or a woman. And thanks to the Affordable Care Act, you can now afford to purchase medical care insurance, and you have done so. So, if you fall off a building and you need medical care, your insurance will cover that. If you happen to slice your hand chopping onions, your medical care will cover that. If, perchance, you're walking past a bank and a bank robber runs out of the building carrying a bag of cash and a pistol and you're a girl or woman and just for no particular reason the bank robber shoots you in the knee and then rushes on and leaves you bleeding on the sidewalk. And furthermore, just suppose that a kind person uh, helps you, staunches the bleeding, rushes you to the hospital, and you fully expect medical care to treat your knee through insurance, and the insurance company says, hey, we don't cover that. You need a special being shot in the knee insurance before we'll cover that um, crime against you and that injury against you. This is what Michigan has passed as a state and will be the law next year regarding being raped, being uh, forced to be pregnant, and wanting an abortion. Insurance companies will not cover that because Girls and women need a special insurance coverage for that, for having an abortion, if they are raped and get pregnant. And I cannot, for the life of me, think any rational reason why that has to, that, why that was even considered necessary, let alone made into a law. If anybody out there can explain to me why Girls and women need special insurance that they have to additionally pay for after they already have medical care insurance. Why that is a requirement? I would very much like to hear it.